today we're going back up to Oxnard to take the Cadillac back that I've been driving for this past week. Kind of sad about that because the car is amazing. But while we're up there, we're actually going to take you guys up to a place called the Camarillo Ranch. Now, the interesting thing about the Camarillo Ranch is it's probably the first house that was built in Camarillo by a guy whose last name was Camarillo, Adolfo Camarillo. And we're going to take a tour of the house because it's a Queen Anne Victorian house. It's, it's really amazing, I've been told. It's really cool online and we're going to go check it out. In the caddy, Kathy's behind me. Last day in the Cadillac. It's sad. which is going to be really cool. And we are at the Camarillo Ranch. Is that the official title? Yes. Okay. Um, which, it's funny because I, I grew up in Ojai and I had no idea that this was even here for years. It's amazing how many people don't know that this is here. It's such it's, a, an it's important a, historic uh, property. But, uh, it's a hidden gem. It is. Yeah. Well said. Well, it's a historic home of Adolfo Camarillo. He's one of the founding fathers of this area. The city's named after his family. And this home behind us is his residence, 1892. And so the family actually lived on this property for many years. And uh, the city uh, ultimately ended up buying the property. And they own this property today. Wow. And the Camarillo Ranch Foundation, through an agreement, operates the property for the city. Right. It's much a futurist. I mean, uh -huh. A lot of the things that you'll see in this house were very innovative for the time. He was brought some of the first refrigeration to this area. Wow. Uh, he was very much into automobiles, so he brought some of the first really cool cars to the area. He was also a horseman, so these white horses that you'll see around here, he actually started that strain from an Arabian. And they're still. And there, there's actually a White Horse Society that there are a number of those descendants still alive today. Wow. Oh. But they're very unique in that uh, not every horse that comes from that line or lineage 
they're not all white. So, so they kind of breed for white, but that's a recessive gene, so they don't always get it. And their skin is pink. They're a very unusual animal. Oh. So some of Adapo's descendants that still own those white horses. And uh, someday, I'm, one of my goals is to bring back the white horses to this property. Oh, oh that, that would be would great. Be pretty awesome. Sometime, some, sometime soon, I hope. Mm. <laughs> before it even came here like you know as in like he had it ready and prepped even uh, right because electricity here. did come in in 1893 right as the chicago world's fair had electricity so he would have known about it right exactly so that was just kind of an example of his forward thinking yeah right? wow but yeah so this is a cool guy this would have been his master bedroom so he's in isabel um, and so it's, you know, as you can see, one of the really nice rooms in the house. It's got the beautiful bay and everything. Yeah. Um, that was probably all this farm. Right. Frank was an attorney. He went by the name of Poncho. Mm -hmm. And Frank married late in life. But when he did marry, he married a woman that was also an attorney. The only downside to that was that they never had any children to pass the Camarillo name on to. But Frank uh, was very smart and did very well. And that's a photograph of Frank, or better known as Poncho. Bedroom of 
Carmen Camarillo, who was the youngest Camarillo child ah. and uh, the, third, the fourth daughter. And so Carmen was very passionate about, um, about the horses on the ranch. You know, um, there's the connection between the white horses. Mm -hmm. right. um, the white horses of Camarillo were actually a breed that started here at the ranch. Adolfo um, purchased a white stallion from, I believe, the California State Fair in Sacramento. Oh. Um, and he bred that stallion to his Morgan mares here on the ranch, and he created this um, unique breed of horses oh. that still exists today. The um, Camarillo White Horse Association, I believe, is made up of the owners of the descendants of those horses. Mm. Um, so Carmen was really well known for being affiliated with the horses. She was an excellent, um, you know, horse woman. Uh -huh. um, and she frequently paraded the horses, and um, in general, General, she was just very passionate about it. One of her hobbies was actually going to the racetrack and seeing the, the horse races, right? Sure. And so one of the things that she did, she actually kept oh. um, her souvenir uh, tickets from the oh. Santa Anita racetrack and she stuck them up on her closet wall. Oh, that's great. How cool is that? that she had made especially so that oh. she could ride astride the horse. Her father forbade her to wear pants. Ah. And um, so her cousin Adele, who actually made that dress behind you too, that's why they're showing that. It still looked like a dress. Right. So her dad was fine with her doing that. <laughs> Your outfit is awesome. Oh, thank you. It was made by a local lady named Joan Olson. Yay, Joan. <laughs> and yes, and she made this for me. And, no, it comes with a K, the hat. Yeah. So, uh, oh. The story that we've been told is that she had this room because the Camarillos were extremely hospitable and it was their tradition to give the best room in the house to whoever was visiting them as guests. And so um, I guess the story goes that they didn't necessarily want to kick out the eldest daughter or the son and so they had Ave Maria in this room so that anytime there was a guest she could relocate and go you know be with her sisters and the guest would have this room which as you can see is incredible. Oh. Awesome. notable guests sometimes. Oh. I think there are a few former California governors in there. Uh, Leo Carrillo was actually a cousin of his, Leo Carrillo the film star. So, you know, occasionally you get these kind of luminaries gracing the oh. like Former ranch office. So this is where most of the ranch business was conducted. He has a personal study that's over by the front door. Uh, but yeah, the ranch office was mostly where, you know, uh, managing that 10,000 acres, you know, was a lot of work. It required a lot of people and a lot of coordination. So this is where most of that business was going. decided he would um, ask him if he wanted to work with the horses and of course a little boy is going to be excited to do that. Well he did that all his life on the ranch, became the expert on the white horses and this, um, this man was so sweet. I met him when he was at the end of his life a couple years before he passed away. Just complete wealth of knowledge from him. He was a wonderful man. Oh. One time there was a fire and the horses didn't know what to do and they trusted him and he led them out in the barn when it was on fire. Oh. But he was a wonderful man.
Yeah, but how often do you get to see a walk-in refrigerator? <laughs> it looks like a sauna. is incredible. I lived in Ojai for about 15 years, which was, uh, was not too far from here, maybe a half an hour, and I had no idea that this was even here. And this has been here since 1892. But if you have someone in your family who's looking to get married or have an event or have some kind of exciting thing that they want to put together, uh, this the, the grounds here are truly spectacular. that it was an incredible place. It is an incredible place. Um, what's your favorite part? So much stuff, so much information. You know, I think as well as seeing the original house, I like to see the original photographs. Oh uh, yeah. They've got tons of them. And hearing the story of this Adolfo, what an amazing man. Very and cool. what he created, which actually extends to why Camarillo even exists. Oh so, yeah. How yeah. about you? Uh, well, he was a car guy. Oh. He was a total car guy. Uh, we didn't really discuss too much about the cars that he had, but we talked to Charles and he said he had a lot of unique vehicles. Well, we, he was kind of a futurist. Yeah. So he liked to, anything that was advanced. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And they do hold uh, not only weddings and different events, but they also have a car show. And uh, we'll be back for that. That'll be really <laughs> cool.